ten times Naruto was a better father than Sasuke. Naruto may receive many complaints about how he raises his children, but there are often times where he's a better parent than Sasuke. There's a lot that can be said about Naruto as a parent in the Boruto series. When he's around, he seems like a good father, but he's constantly consumed by his job as Hokage. Limiting his ability to parent. In some cases, this may feel out of character for a man who desperately wanted a family to call his own. In others, it's understandable as the job of Hokage can be time-consuming. He still manages to be a better father than Sasuke does, as he willingly choosing to be out of his child's life for many of the earlier arcs of the series. 10. Naruto is actually present in his children's lives. Naruto manages to be around his kids more often than Sasuke is with Sarada, considering Boruto's first major arc is coming to terms with why his dad isn't around often. Yes, Naruto isn't around as often as he should be and is wrapped up with his job as a Hokage, but he's still physically present. Sasuke is rarely ever in the village, seeing his child a marginal amount of time. At best. It makes it seem like he doesn't care about her. 9. Naruto is willing to protect his children. A parent should always be willing to do anything possible to keep their kids safe. It doesn't need to be as extreme as laying one's life on the line. But a parent should always try to act as a shield, and that's exactly what Naruto did on the day of his inauguration. Boruto accidentally broke one of Himawari's toys, leading to her launching towards him with a gentle fist attack. Naruto flung himself in its path, taking the blow for his son and missing his ceremony in the process. 8. Naruto doesn't hide things from Boruto. One thing Naruto never tried to do was shield his son from the world. He never wanted to wrap him up in bubble wrap and force him to live the safest life he could. It was shown earlier on in the series when Samire and Nu were enacting their revenge on the village. Naruto caught wind of Boruto looking into the attacks on the villagers, and rather than telling him not to do anything. He showed him what was happening to those attacked by Nu. Granted, he did it hoping it'd get Boruto to stop searching, but he had to know how much his son was like him. 7. Naruto has pride in their accomplishments. One thing Naruto will always have is pride in his kids. He's proud of the accomplishments they achieve, no matter how big or small they are. That's the case with Boruto, who Naruto has great pride in as his child continues to get stronger as time goes on. While their relationship is strained at times, Naruto never stopped wanting what was best for him. He's even happy whenever Himawari does something, no matter how minor it is. 6. Naruto is willing to discipline his children. A big part of being a parent is discipline. The kids can't be the ones who run the household. A parent always needs to be willing to lay down the law when the time comes for it. While Naruto doesn't do it often, he's more than willing to when the situation calls for it. The biggest example of this is when he caught Boruto cheating during the Chunin exams. He didn't wait until the exams were over to discipline him and chose to embarrass him in front of everyone instead. 5. Naruto tries to instill important values into his children. For his whole life, Naruto has been trying to get others to see his values in life, be it villains or the people in Konoha. It makes sense that he'd try to do the same with his kids, particularly Boruto. Whenever he tries to bond with Boruto, he does it by instilling life wisdom into him. Sometimes that's over ramen or when he caught Boruto vandalizing the Hokage rock. He always takes the time to get him to understand why Naruto does the thing. 4. Naruto acts as a father figure to Sarada more than he does. The ultimate slap in the face to Sasuke's parenting skills is that Naruto is a better father figure to Sarada. When Sarada and Chocho decided to follow him towards Sasuke's location, 
he took the time to eat with them and impart some of the same wisdom he often gives his son. He even gets along with Sarada better than he does Baruto. Given their different personalities. That isn't all that surprising either. 3. Naruto helped explain how much Sakura loved Sarada. Towards the end of the Shin Uchiha arc, Sakura's standing as Sarada's mother came into question. It was hinted that Karen was actually the mother. Something that infuriated Sarada. She was mad at everyone, claiming that Sakura wasn't her family anymore because they weren't bound by blood. Rather than Sasuke, Naruto was the one that explained to her that not all families are blood-related, it's the connections you make that matter. 2. Naruto spends time with his children even when he's exhausted. During the parent and child day, Naruto was finally able to spend a day with his family, thanks to Shikamaru taking care of most of the paperwork. The whole episode showed just how much Naruto cared for his kids, spending the day with Himawari, searching the whole village for a Kurama plush. When he got home, he was beyond exhausted, but rather than using that as an excuse, he apologized to Baruto and trained the rest of the night with his son. 1. Naruto is willing to fight side by side with Baruto. A lot of character development happened during the Mamashiki arc, one that was the best in the series thus far. Not only did Boruto grow as a person, but Naruto did as well. By the end of the fight, Naruto got to see firsthand how much Boruto had grown as a fighter, leading to the two of them finishing off Mamashiki together. Their combined Raisingan is an excellent moment and the perfect way to finish off the arc. <laughs>